How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbine Gaming. Welcome back to another very special adventure quest video. So today's video is just going to be a showcase video. It's not really like a strategy video of any sorts but Lupao was the one who requested for this and I initially planned for this video to come out a little bit uh, later when like I have you know no other videos uh, upcoming on my list but since this challenge is gonna go away soon might as well do it right because uh, the stat revamp is also upcoming and I think after the stat revamp this might not be such a va uh, viable strategy anymore so I'm gonna uh, try out now against the ban ban uh, bun banneret uh, void challenge boss okay so this is not like a free to play strategy or like some easy strategy to beat him I'm just gonna show him show me beating him using the dodge slash strategy okay because Lupa was someone who requested for it so let's go ahead and try it out so first things first are the ghost costume the best blocking armor in the whole game uh right now okay and then we have the bun banneret guess which you can get from beating <laughs> bun banneret so yeah you can't really use this unless you already beat him before pets I got the twisted pig drake from the ultra rare golden gift from the rare golden gift foxes sorry so if you haven't got this you can get the bun banneret pet as well that will work just fine and then for items i will be using both summoning stone and chrono paladin hourglass okay and i can actually use both why do i say that is because i can when you're dodging attacks you're not going to be uh getting hit your hp is basically going to be full but i am going to be using essence op to replenish my sp bar and that's when the chrono paladin hourglass can come in to help and heal my HP if I want to or need to. Alright, so we'll do this and then we'll do Walnuts. This is overkill, you don't need to do this, but yeah. For shields, you can go with Vengeance of Nalgap Defender, which heals the MP. After I'm done spell casting, but I don't need an MP heal right now, so I'm just gonna go with Damage, which is Titan's Fall. And then for items right now, I don't really need a HP heal yet. Okay, maybe I should get a HP heal, why not? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Chrono Paladin Hourglass. So our source of damage right now is going to be the uh, Titan's Force shield over here. So I'm going to do Panoply, go, and then dodge and boom. And look at that, our HP is back up to full. So now I'm going to use my Summoning Stone over here to inflict even more damage to Ban Banneret whenever I block its attack. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and just cast a regular spell. This is not going to do much damage, but we don't really care about that. This is a showcase video. Okay, bam, there we go. More harm damage and shields. I'm going to switch out to Vengeance of Nalgap Defender over here. Let's go ahead and heal some MP while we're at it. Okay, we'll do in saturation here. 1718 and then he's going to miss and we are going to heal up to 2.4k MP. So you can see here we are just dodging attacks. Of course, uh, it means that we are not getting hit and the only downside to this is that it's going to be rather slow because you don't have a lot of damage you can of course switch out to a different weapon different build and whatnot and try and attack him because you have so much defense it's very unlikely that he'll hit through but you know we are going to play pure dodge slash all the way over here uh just for the sake of showcasing the build right so i can go ahead and hit him with a uh, wind spell again and boom look at that 97.93 okay so now I'm going to need to stun in order to take out that attack because the attack is auto hit so uh, all of this dodging is not going to help so yeah I will have to try and stun him hope this works bolts okay nice we got him all right and here I'm going to use my essence op to go ahead and replenish all of that lost SP over here you can of course just use the level 150 one the level 5 one is absolutely overkill for this but uh, maximum efficiency guys not in terms of actual time but in terms of in-game resources okay so click 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 heal up all the way there we go and then we switch back to chrono paladin hourglass to heal back the hp that we lost let's bring up vengeance of now get defender to heal back the mp that we lost over here and then i'm going to do uh panoply again let's get that shield up once more okay so he's done now that's good okay and now he's going to attack bam Bam, goes again, there we go, nice fat heals and our resources are pretty much back up to full. So now we can switch back to damage with the summoning stone and with the titan's fall. And then we can also just go ahead and use any spells or just switch to a different weapon, do whatever the heck you want because he's never going to hit through those defenses, boom. And he goes twice now with the celebrity which means that we are getting more dodge slash damage out 
which uh kind of works in our favor so that's quite nice so saturation again Ooh, lucky gas there we go bam and he does that so now we have to go ahead and try and stun so we'll use our bag of mixed nuts here let's hope this works okay we got the stun off very nice so here i'm running a little bit low on sp again so let's go ahead and regenerate some sp using my hp bar And yep, this is basically an infinite resource loop. The only downside, like I said, very, very slow. Doesn't have a lot of damage output. But uh, of course, if you're playing optimally, switch out to your new king stuff. I am just trying to showcase full dodge here. Okay, so Chrono Paladin to heal back the HP. Vengeance of Nalgath Defender, heal back the MP. Let's do this. Let's cast this again because why not? Very unoptimal strats. Uh, let's just cast it again. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Bam. Bad heal. Okay, let's go ahead and do in saturation. Let's get the heal off again. Bam. Okay, full heal for HP and MP bar. Awesome. So now we can swap back to summoning stone. And Titans fall for maximum damage. And let's go ahead and cast a spell. Yeah, look at the defenses. Never hitting through. After the stat revamp. The global accuracy flaw is going to be at 5%, whether it's for you, whether it's for the monster. So uh, you will not be able to guarantee dodges anymore. Enemies will still have a 5% chance to hit you no matter what. So that is something to keep in mind after the step revamp changes, which it should be coming by this week. Okay, uh, but we'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh, defense is going to run out. Make sure we have enough, but no plea. Bam, look at that damage. Nice. Okay, so now we need to heal back some SP. <clears throat> and then heal back some HP with the Paladin Hourglass. And heal back some MP with the Vengeance of Now Gap Defender. And let's go do this. Boom. Come on. Oh. No celerity? I thought that was going to be celerity. Okay. Uh, back on mix nuts once more. Oops. Got him. Let's do this. Running a little low on MP, but it's okay. Once he hits us, the MP heal is going to be nuts. Okay, 804 MP now. Bam. Bam, look at that. Boom. MP bar almost fully back up. Right, switch back to damage with summoning stone and titan's fall so attack let's go and cast this again boom 294 boom 425 very nice switching back because we need to heal some mp now and bam look at that full mp heal easy peasy Back to Titans for maybe I'll use Pardon Hourglass. Yeah, let's get some SP over here. Get a full bar of SP. I do think the nerf to dodge is a very reasonable one. Like you guys know, I'm never a fan of nerfs, but I always speak my mind. I don't mince my words. I don't, you know, bullshit you guys saying that oh this is actually good when it's actually not. Uh, but the the dodge nerf is very very reasonable. I still think dodge will be a very powerful playstyle. So for those of you who still love your dodge items, I don't think you guys really need to worry about it that much. Yeah, I still think it'll be very very viable. All right. Wonder if we can HP PK if we can end the fight with three full resource bars. That would be crazy, right? I don't think he can because of the upkeep of the summoning stone and the uh, shield. For the damage part but yeah let's go ahead and try that because why not right uh shields let's do the mp heal okay cast this for defense <coughs> bam look at that boom okay nice fat heals Heal Titans fall, and let's go ahead and heal up our HP. Okay, 
Nice. Okay. Now we can go ahead and do the Titan Sword. Okay, full on damage now. Yeah, let's just finish it. Can we finish it? I think we can. Okay, I'll just do this. Why not? Bam, easy peasy, almost full resource bars. Okay, I could have made it full if I wanted to, I just didn't really bother. But yeah, you can see I start off with no MP and I end off the battle with all three resource bars almost full. Very fun strategy, uh, dodge, if you guys would like to try it out. I will probably post an updated guide somewhere down the road once the stat revamp is over and all. But I think for the most part, it's still basically the same. You just have to watch your resistances a little bit and those double... uh double dipping spells like your uh, mandate yeah those will come in a lot more useful after the dodge stuff but i'll cover that in a future video so definitely want to subscribe to the channel for that if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course like i said subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content till the next time i'm your host carbine gaming peace out